Championship fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Third man in the right. octagon for this right. one. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Champion. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Straight right is there. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice strike right to the body. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and hits. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. And that's that is the danger in the engagement there. There's his jab. Go, 
Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Hands higher, hands higher. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where he's going to land a strike. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, big knee. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. Oh, the huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big knee lands there. Left hook right hand. Five seconds now to go in the round. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one dimensional, not head hurting oh, oh. inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. All right, you that round. But you're all right. I'm going to get back out there and put it on him now. It's a little payback time. You're going to get aggressive. They're confident over there. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Circling towards the left now. Going back. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Back kick there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice body shot. Three minutes to go in round two. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land a lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. That one, that right hand. Oh, big knee to the body. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Fifteen 
Two oh. rounds in the books. Oh. All right, sit down. Slow your back. Let's get that one through back. Awesome defense. Your counter fighting is looking sharp. Exactly like you worked in the gym. It's working perfect. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. He went high on that one. Hands up, hands up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice right in. Huge block there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Three minutes to go in round three. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Well placed switch kick there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas him. Get in trouble. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up. <laughs> His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Final seconds of round three. shot there just before you heard the horn so he gets saved by the bell the question is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight all right let's now look back at some of the action from that round he went head hunting landed nearly got the finish too a lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt in this case he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship fights? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. 
Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both... Two strike lands there, you see. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! to the body here, that one appeared to be blocked. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Goes to the switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal or what? It is a great strike, and I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Deep Mimiochi. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. 20 seconds left. Effective with the jab. Those are sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn, an appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round, looked very confident in doing so. They might even bring in the RP here. I mean, he was, it was relaxation at its finest, just so relaxed, so comfortable in the fire, which then allowed him to land these big strikes that had his opponent buzz on many, many occasions. But he cannot get desperate. Don't go crazy trying to finish the fight. Let it come to you. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Solid punch, Lance. Let's open up that side. Now mixing one into the body. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Circling to his right. There's that body shot. And that spinning kick out, it's home on top. Oh, just misses with the kick. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat's mouth, you gotta play cat's mouth. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Trying to kick the leg out. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.
Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 56 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC.